guys, what's going on out there today? It's Brent Abel here, webtennis.com, with, uh, I guess we titled this one, another episode of Here's What Works For Me. And what we're going to talk about is a, one of the all-time great financial pieces of advice, which is you got to live below your means, right? And, and, and it really applies to shot choice in tennis as well. And I'm going to pause the video right about here. And your brain could now be just hyped up thinking, wow, look at that space up the line. That thing is wide open, right? And yet, if you consider it, if you look at the geometry that you're now presented with, because the ball is just bounced, right? It's bouncing short, which means that it's not going to get up all that high to you. And so now you've got almost the highest part of the net looming there in front of you with the ball short in the court. And if you're going to try to top spin this backhand uh, over, the, over the net uh, up the line, that's a rough shot. That is not an easy ball to play there. And even if you're going to slide it up the line, still the geometry does not look great. So look, let's get back to the theme, which is you got to live below your means. In this case right here, I've got clarity just going, that's not a great shot choice to take it up the line because as I'm getting stretched out here, I'm thinking if I go up the line and that opponent over there either guesses or gets to it, I am just way out of position for the next uh, shot that he might hit, which is obviously going to be back cross court, way back over to the due side. So my thought here is that let's just take what he's given me and live below my means, which is the best shot I've got to stay in the point is let's just take this thing back cross court. Let's try to get it underneath down low and make him volley up and have some bad geometry, right? And, uh, you know, he plays this a little bit too fine, fine tuned to the, to the sideline and just misses it by hair. It's wide. So, what's the deal here? What's the entire point of what we're talking about is you got to have shot choice clarity. And, um, and the only way to get shot choice clarity is I think with what I do or what I trained this past year with my five mindset skill habit training. And really it's based on that. It's based on how do you know what your shot choices are based on what you do best? And if what you do best is what I just demonstrated to you, if you have that clarity that, look, I mean, we've got bad geometry to try to go up the line with this shot, then, then you trust that clarity and you go with what you know that you've got in your toolbox. And one of the things I know I don't have in my toolbox is a topspin backhand from this part of the court. If you give me something where we're back in here, and you're up at net, and the ball's bouncing up, absolutely. Then I've got that topper backhand because the geometry is so much better. So there's the message for today is, um, yeah, you got to live below your means, right? And you got to have that shot choice clarity. You have to trust it. And once you do that, you're going to win a whole lot more a whole lot more points, a whole lot more games and sets and matches, and especially when you get down to crunch time in a really tough, close match. Look, guys, if you haven't already done so, go on over uh, to the link that's down below that will get you access uh, to my course, my five habits, uh, my five habits, my five mindset skill habits training course. It's a 28-day course, and uh, the bottom line is going to give you some clarity on what's in your toolbox in terms of shot choice. And uh, there you go. All right, any questions down below, let me know. Uh, and as always, yeah, it is time. We gotta get out there today. Help someone else have a great day. Guys, see you again next time.